Malaria is one of the most deadly diseases in the world. It affects more than 220 million people globally, causing around 670,000 deaths every year. The principal victims are the children and pregnant women of sub-Saharan Africa. The European Vaccine Initiative is leading European efforts to develop effective, accessible and affordable vaccines against diseases of poverty, including malaria. Notre vision, c'est clairement de participer avec d'autres organisations à avoir un monde qui soit euh, totalement euh, libéré des maladies liées à la pauvreté, donc les maladies infectieuses. On a comme objectif d'accélérer le développement des vaccins. One of EVI's many malaria projects is the Malaria Vectored Vaccines Consortium, which is conducting clinical trials of a new vaccine candidate. It was some founded in 2009 and the objectives are to integrate capacity building and networking in the conduct of clinical trials. More specific, we would like to assess a new vaccine candidate for um, safety, immunogenicity and efficacy in the African population, in adults, children and infants. So we have four European and four African partners. The African partners are the MRC in the Gambia, the CNRFP in Burkina Faso, Camry in Kenya, Kilifi, and um, the UCAT in Senegal. The vaccine candidate was originally invented and developed by one of the members of the MVVC consortium, the University of Oxford. However, developing a vaccine against malaria is no easy task. The parasite has an extremely complex life cycle and a high capacity to adapt to the human body and its defence mechanisms. We have vaccines against lots of infections, but all of those infections are either viral or bacterial. We do not have any vaccine against any parasitic infection, and malaria is a parasite. And what we've mainly looked at is getting immunity to work at the liver stage of infection. Now, this has a lot of advantages. It means that if you could clear the parasites at that stage, very soon after the mosquito bite that introduces the infection, you could prevent malaria completely before there are any symptoms or any signs of the disease. The first clinical trials have been conducted by MVVC in Kenya and the Gambia in adults, children and infants to assess the safety of this new vaccine. The trials also showed high immunogenicity. Therefore, phase 2b clinical trials started in Kenya and Senegal in adults. C'est une combinaison de deux vaccins ici qui ont été euh, une première dose et quelques semaines après une dose de rappel, disons, une dose pour renforcer la protection conférée par la première dose, ce qui est une stratégie euh, assez nouvelle. We enrolled a total of 120 um, healthy adult male participants who followed up over a period of six months. So after they got the second uh, vaccine, they all received um, curative antimalarials, a three-day course of it, to see if they were acquiring any new malaria infections. MVVC is now entering a new phase in Burkina Faso to determine the vaccine's efficacy on the target population, being infants aged 5 to 17 months. To recruit volunteers, the clinical trial teams organise consultations with the population to inform them about the project, its risks and benefits. This also provides a good opportunity to answer questions and to solicit support. We try to have a motivation for the community. The motivation for the community consists in the reflection of an edifice public, which may be a centre of health, a school, or any other site of interest public. La seconde est individuelle maintenant n'intéresse que les participants à l'essai. Tout ce qui est donc euh, du matériel biologique, il est sacré ici et ne pourrait faire l'objet d'aucun échange contre de l'argent. Nous privilégions faire donc euh, une compensation en nature. Dès que nous avons une étude, nous avons une gratuité totale des soins pour nos participants. C'est déjà un avantage majeur pour ces populations d'avoir accès aux soins. Mothers who permit their children to volunteer are invited to the hospital. Here, they consult a doctor involved in the clinical trial. He will give them further details and make sure that they give their informed consent properly. Children then undergo a series of clinical examinations to check they are healthy enough to be enrolled in the trial. Once the volunteers' vital functions have been checked, 
eligible candidates are vaccinated. Half of them receive the vaccine itself, while the other half receive the control product, a rabies vaccine. The efficacy of the vaccine is first assessed by the parasitology laboratory, where the number of malaria cases among the vaccinated children is recorded. The tests are then refined by molecular biology to detect parasitemia, otherwise undetectable by microscopy. Au cours de l'étude ici, nous explorons d'une part l'immunité cellulaire et puis l'immunité immorale. C'est-à-dire que l'immunité immorale, c'est l'immunité qui est essentiellement dirigée vers la production d'anticorps. Et l'immunité cellulaire, c'est celle qui est dirigée essentiellement vers l'activation de cellules ou de surpopulation de cellules capables de contribuer à la destruction du parasite. Besides assessing the efficacy of the vaccine, another main goal of MVVC is capacity building, with the aim of developing local structures to the highest international standards. Capacity building is very important to us because I think if we are going to continue to be doing vaccine trials, we want to be able to build local capacity so that you know we can work independently. C'est un moyen un peu de pouvoir raffermir les liens entre chercheurs, de mettre en place des collaborations sud-sud, mais également nord-sud, et de façon à pouvoir euh, mettre à niveau nos équipes, nos équipes de recherche, tant sur le plan technique que sur le plan euh, plateau technique. Capacity building involves renovation of buildings, and where necessary, new structures are erected. State-of-the-art equipment is also acquired to allow the scientists to carry out tests and evaluations. In addition, MVVC conducts long-term training in research and short-term training in laboratory and clinical practices and the drafting of manuscripts. Cette étude m'a m'a beaucoup apporté parce qu'en trois ans j'ai j'ai beaucoup appris en matière de relations humaines, en matière de nouvelles techniques. Tout ça c'est c'est nouveau c'est c'est nouveau pour moi et c'est ce que MBVC m'a m'a apporté. Et donc euh, je pense que ça a été mon boost en fait pour euh, cette envie que j'ai d'aller de l'avant. Ce qui fait que donc à la fin de l'essai, vous avez une nation relativement rénovée, des équipements relativement neufs, des ressources humaines relativement étoffées et expérimentées. Donc vous partez d'une institution qui relativement n'était pas compétitive à une une nation très compétitive. Dans l'ensemble, les résultats sont prometteurs en termes d'innocuité en termes d'efficacité et en termes de tolérance du vaccin. So we're very encouraged by that, but remember we really want to be able to show that the vaccine works in children and in infants, and those trials are going on right now. So in the next year or so, we hope to have results from infants, particularly in Burkina Faso, telling us for the first time how well this vaccine works in the population that we really want to protect. A real challenge for the consortium, given the insufficient funding in malaria vaccine development, but a challenge that nonetheless raises great hope. If a malaria vaccine is finally um, um, licensed, it will be a, a lot of uh, joy. I will see less people coming with, down with malaria in my clinics. People will have time to spend in their place of work, it will lead to increased productivity. It will make the economy of the nation to be stronger because healthy people will become healthy nation. <laughs>